morning everyone carol here from carol's craft ways hope you're all doing okay um it's the first day of uh summer time today but you wouldn't think it it's really miserable outside so i'm not going anywhere in this today i shall just stay at home anyway today i've got something a little bit different um i've got these spellbinder flower dyes um i can't remember what this one is called um, but you get the magnolia one and you can get this one there's also a poinsettia one i've not used that yet and i've got another one um coming in the post um which i think is the peony but i'm going to use this one today um i've been playing with it and i can't i just i just couldn't stop i just carried on and carried on this is what we're going to make and we're going to use some copic markers um, and the sentiment from phil martin that's the magnolia one, um, and and I do like that one. But this is the this one again. This is done in um, blue mirror. That's got just a black outline, and I've done this one with luster powders. This one I've kind of offset again with blue uh, mirror card. That's gold, and obviously that's gold. So there's various different ways, but we're going to do this because this was my favourite one of all of them when I finished it. This is a 5 by 7 card. So what we need, as I said, I've got the Phil Martin um, with Love Sentiment as well. I've got two pieces of mirror card and I've got a piece of smooth white cardstock and a 5 by 7 card. Okay, so the first thing I am going to do is I'm going to put this to size. I'm just going to make a mark on that and trim that up. I've got two pieces of mirror cut out. I think we will need two pieces. You can see that on the, the light. Okay. Out the way for a minute. Just check that. Just trim that side a little bit more. So I just want a small board around. It's fine. And then we're going to take a piece of white. So the reason I'm using smooth white card is because we're going to colour it with pop picks. Okay. Come outside. There we go. That's one side because we're going to need those bits. Okay, now we're going to take the die. Now the die, it comes with an outer die. Oh goodness, and then it comes with this middle die as well. What we need to do is we need to take the card that we've just cut and we need to cut this out of the card. Just the outline die. No, sorry, bear with me. We're going to use this to cut it out. Is that the way I did it? Just bear with me. I can work this out. No, it is this one. So we're going to cut this one out of the card. That's it. Right, I'm going to put a piece of paper over the top because I, my die cutting plates are not that new and I don't want it to mark the card. Just going 
cover out. I did that many different variations of it when I was doing it that it, I just um, had different ideas with it. So that goes there. Okay. We're going to save this because we need this. Now what we're going to do next is we're going to take the smooth card again. And we're going to take this part of the die. And we're going to cut this out. Now this, you do need to be careful when this comes out. Because you want all of the pieces intact. You don't want any of the pieces to drop out. So I'm not bothered if it doesn't cut right the way through everything. Because as I say, I want the pieces in. drop on here I'm happy with that as I say it doesn't I'm not bothered if it doesn't cut out all of the middle bits and then we want to carefully get this out if your bits do drop out just put them to one side because you're going to need them Carefully get there's one piece, but don't worry because we'll just put them back in. There we go. That's not bad, just one piece. <laughs> it's come out. We can get rid of that now. Okay, now we want to take this piece again that we cut out, and that we're going to pop on top of there. But before we do that, I'm going to cut another one out of mirror card I don't think it will fit on here let's just check that is just too short so we want to cut another one get that in the right place out of mirror and I do want this one the bits to fall out this one because I just want the outline And I'll show you what I'm eating when it cooks. The bit we want here is this off first and I will show you is this bit. So we need to poke out all the bits. Poke it off. I'm just gonna put that to the one side so I don't lose that other bit. And we want to poke all the bits out. Because I literally just want the outline. So it looks stunning. You can just get all different coloured mirror cards and do it.
I mean, you can save these bits if you want to. I'm not going to, no. But you could save these bits and do some more paper piercing. There's a lot of paper piercing to do with it if you did it. But you could do that. You could have one that you could cut another one in, like um, pearlescent card. I'm going to get rid of those bits. Okay. Well, that's on side. I'm going to bring this back in. And what I want to do is I want to glue. I've just had another bit fall out there. Look. I've got my um, glue gun. And I want to glue this in place so i'm just going to put some dots onto here like that and then i'm going to put some on here but i'm not going to go right up to the edge because this has a border so it's just to hold it in place and then we need to line this get in there now we need to line this up so you have a small border around it In the right place. Let's turn that over and then we'll pop in pieces that popped out now you see this then goes over the top like that but before we do that we're going to do some colouring so you would line that up but before that we're going to do some colouring so I've got some Copic markers out um, I've got R85, RB23, R81 and RB000. It's going to start with the darker one and I literally you don't have to be careful because as I said your um, your um, mirror, get my words out in a minute, outline is going to go over it. So I just want to give this some colour. Not all the way up. And I'll just show you what I mean. That's going to go over like that. Okay, so you just want a little bit of colour. So we're going to do the same on each of these petals do two or three at a time just working through your colors work through those colors Stick it on the back of there. The center bit will be black. This bit here, look, is going to be black. Okay. Okay. 
okay and then we'll go over to these petals and do exactly the same technique if you're not sure where you're coloring you can just pop this over and that will give you an idea see i need to do that one there look i'm just going to do that one This one just here. It's working down your colours. Just going to pop that on to see where else I need to colour to give it some colour. This one here and that one there. Pop that back over again and just check I've done them all. Got those couple there, look. I'll just do them with the lighter one. Okay, we've got to do those centres now. And I'm just literally going to take a Sharpie to do those. And as I said, you can go over the edge because you won't see it when the gold's on. Show you look. Just make sure you've got enough black in there. So now we're going to attach this and we're going to take the glue gun and we're just going to pop tops of glue. You just need to be careful with it being mirror card. Don't oversaturate it with the glue. So you don't want to overdo it with the glue. Just gonna let the dog out. He wants to go out. Okay. Then we're gonna pop this over the top. We're gonna wear a little bit at a time. Capture that, get that right into there, over the top of those leaves, these over the top of this one, because we want the gold leaves, this over the top of here, it will literally just fall in place. Just going to put a bit more glue on here. Put 
I'm just going to turn that over. Okay. So I'm going to come back to this. And this will fit inside there. So what we're first of all going to do is stick this down to the mirror card. Just come around the edge and make sure you capture those little bits that poke it, poke inwards. So we'll go all around the cut edge and then around the edge of the card. And then pop this down. Get it straight. And then we're going to pop glue on the back of this one. And then we're going to pop this back inside that aperture that we cut out. And that is how easy that is. Now for the sentiment. So I've got with love, I've got some other ones actually. Um, I'm just going to use just for you on this one, just to make it a little bit different, I think. These are great because you get the sentiment and then you get some little dies as well. So what we want to do is clear some way here, bring in some of that mirror card. You've got an outer and an inny, as I call it. We want the outer in gold. Some tape. There we go. And some white, and we're going to do the innies in white. Gonna bring in the little Gemini. I've ordered a sidekick, it's coming today. I like this, but it, you get through so many of these plates because they warp all the time. And you turn them in inside that, and then you've got the marks on the plates and And that's our outing. And then the white ones. I do love these sentiments. some of the little bits with them as well to like heart buttons okay and we're going to build this again just a few little dots of glue Sorry if my head's in the way. I see it gone.
Okay, then we can mount this on our card. And then we could do it like, I think I would do it like that. Yeah. I'm not putting any dimension on it, so it's flat for posting if need be. And there we go. I'll just bring all the others in again and show you the different versions. And they're all different sizes as well. I mean, you can go up to a A5 size. That's one we've just done. There's the one with love. Okay. And this was the one with the blue. And I've offset it. Same technique. It's just that when you're cutting out um, with the outer layer wherever that's gone the outer layer you would just offset it off the card this is just a normal a6 and that was from what i cut out of there i then used it and i just put some luster powders on it that's the magnolia one that again is the blue mirror card that is again leftovers from when I've been cutting and then this is the one that's been offset again um, I did do that one upside down but it's okay um, and I did um, I cut the background instead of cutting the background in white I cut the background in gold and laid it in gold just for something different as I said I was just using the leftovers um, so can't wait for my um, peony to come and have a play with that one. But there we go. Quick, easy and simple. Thanks for watching. If I can ask you to like and subscribe, please. That would be really, really grateful. Uh, and please share videos. Thank you. Speak to you all soon.